In MySQL, we can also store JSON documents. In case you're not familiar with JSON or JavaScript object notation, it's basically a lightweight format for storing and transferring data over the internet. It's used heavily in web and mobile applications. So most of the time, your mobile apps send your data to the backend using JSON. In JSON, we use curly braces to define an object. Inside these braces, we can have one or more key value pairs. Keys are always strings, so we need to surround them with quotes. Values can be anything. They can be strings, numbers, booleans, arrays, or other objects. So in our SQL store database, let's open up the products table and add a new column here. We're going to call that properties to store additional properties about each product. For example, clothes can have a size and color, but things like a TV have other specs like weight, dimension, and so on. So it's not a good idea to add several columns in this table where only a subset of these columns apply to each product. This is where we can use JSON to easily store multiple key value pairs about each product. So we call this column properties and set its type to JSON. All right, now let's apply the changes. Beautiful. Now, in case you get an error at this point, you need to go to the MySQL Workbench menu on the top. Go to Preferences. Here under Modeling, select MySQL. Make sure your target MySQL version is at least 8. So here I'm using 8.0.15. If you have an earlier version number here, you're going to get an error. All right. Now, we have this JSON column here. Let me show you how to use this. So in this query window, I'm going to update the products table and set the properties of our first product. So this equals, here we add single quotes. And in between these quotes, we define a JSON object. So earlier I told you that we use curly braces to define an object. In between the braces, we add one or more key value pairs. Our keys are always strings, so we surround them with double quotes. Let's say dimensions. Then we add a colon. And here we set the value. In this case, I'm going to pass an array, which is a list of values. Let's say one, two, and three. Next, we add a comma to add another key value pair. Let's say weight, we set this to 10. And finally, let's say manufacturer. We can set this to a string like Sony, but let's make this example more interesting. I'm going to set this to an object. So here we're dealing with a nested JSON object. In this object, I'm going to add a property or a key called name. And the value for this key is going to be Sony. Now, finally, let's apply our where clause where product ID equals one. All right, let's execute this. Beautiful. Now, I'm going to open another query window. Let's select everything from the products table. So here's the first product. Look at the properties column. This is our JSON object. Now we can query this object and extract individual key value pairs. I'm going to show you that in a second. But before we get there, let me show you another way to create a JSON object in SQL. So here we're using single quotes. And in between the quotes, we're using the standard JSON format, curly braces and key value pairs. But in MySQL, we have a few functions for creating JSON objects. So I'm going to delete this string here and instead call the JSON object function. In this function, we can pass multiple key value pairs. For example, we can set weight to 10 and dimensions. Let me zoom out a little bit. All right. We can set the dimensions to an array. For that, we need to call the JSON array function. Let me break this up into multiple lines. That's easier to read. So we set the weight to 10 dimensions to an array. In this array, we pass multiple values. Let's say one, two, and three. We need one more key value pair. That was our manufacturer. Manufacturer. We set this to a JSON object. So JSON object. In this object, we're going to have a key called name. And the value for this key is going to be Sony. And then we need one more parenthesis to close the call to the JSON object function. So what we have here is exactly identical to what we wrote earlier. But here we're using the internal functions in MySQL. Let's execute this one more time. Beautiful. Now back to our other query window. 
we can extract individual key value pairs from this JSON object. And this is the benefit of defining this column as a JSON column as opposed to a varchar, because with strings, it's very difficult to extract individual key value pairs in a JSON object. So here I'm going to select the product ID. And let's say from the properties column, we only want to extract the weight. So we call JSON underline extract. The first argument to this function is a JSON object. In this case, what we have in the properties column. The second argument is a path. So here we add a string. In this string, we add a dollar sign, and this represents the current JSON document. Then we use a period to access individual properties or keys. In this case, weight. Now let's apply a where clause as well. Product ID equals one. So as you can see, we could successfully extract the weight for this product. We could also give it an alias like weight. That is better. But there is a shorter way to write this code. Instead of calling the JSON extract function, we can use a special operator to access individual properties in a JSON object. Let me show you. So we start with our properties column. Then we add this operator, hyphen greater than. This is called the column path operator. And then we add our path. So dollar sign, that is the current document, dot wait. This returns exactly the same result as before. Now, what if you're dealing with a key whose value is an array, like the dimensions? We get that array here, but we can also access individual items in this array. So here we add square brackets, and inside these brackets, we specify the index of the item we want to retrieve. To get the first item, in this case one, we pass zero. Now, we get the first item in this array. What about working with nested objects, like the manufacturer property? So we type manufacturer. As you know, this returns a JSON object. Once again, we can use the period operator to access individual properties in this object. So manufacturer.name returns Sony. But because Sony is a string, we see double quotes here. Sometimes this is not desirable. For example, we might have this expression in a where clause, and let's say we only want to get products whose manufacturer is Sony. We don't want to get rid of this quote. That is where we use another greater than sign. Now, take a look. We get Sony without any quotes. So we can change our where clause to something like this. I'm going to copy this entire expression and put it here. Now we get this and compare it with Sony. There you go. So this is how we can extract various pieces of a JSON object. Now we also have a few functions for updating JSON objects in our database. For example, back to our first query window, let's say we want to change the weight of this product. We don't want to reset this entire object. We only want to update the weight property. How can we do this? That is when we use the JSON set function. Let me remove these arguments. All right. The first argument to this function is the JSON object that we're going to update. In this case, what we have in the properties column. Now we add one or more key value pairs to this object. For example, we can update the value of the weight property. So we pass a path here, dollar sign dot weight. And then we add the new value for this property. Let's say 20. Now we can add a new property here as well. Let's say age. Currently, this object doesn't have a property called age, so we can set it here. Let's set it to 10. Now, let's execute this statement. Beautiful. Back to our other query window. Let's select the product ID and the properties column. All right. So I'll take a look. Now we have the age property that is set to 10, and the weight is updated to 20. So we can use the JSON set function to update existing properties or add new ones. We also have JSON remove for removing one or more properties. Let's say we made a mistake. Age doesn't really apply to a product. So in this function, first we pass a JSON object. Then we list one or more keys that should be removed. In this case, age. So both these functions, JSON remove and JSON set, take a JSON object, modify it, and return a new JSON object. And that is the reason we can use them 
in our set clause like this. So we're setting these properties to a new JSON object that is returned from this function, right? Now let's execute this and make sure it's removed. So execute this one more time. We no longer have the age property. So as you can see, it's really easy to work with JSON objects in MySQL.